Hi guys, so we're going to look at uh, this topic. It's a very common topic and uh, perceived to be one of the hardest, but we're going to simplify it for you. So look at uh, trigonometry, the type of questions that come in the power and without wasting much of your time, let's proceed with the questions. So let's look at the first question. The first question is saying it is given that triangle PQR is right angled at R. So there is a right angle here at R. QR is 4 centimeters and turn QPR is equal to 4 over 3. Find sign PQR. So every time you look at a right angle triangle, what should come in your mind is what we call Sokato. So, so at all. Very important. So, this one is going to help us. So, the first one, so, stands for sine. So, sine opposite of our hypotenuse. Cos adjacent of hypotenuse. Tan opposite of adjacent. So, let's start with this. Since we have tan here, so I'm going to say tan is equal to opposite over adjacent right that is our turn so I think turn is equal to opposite over adjacent that is what we have there then um, what else do we have so let me put it there so they've given it to be 4 over 3 so that one is 4 over 3 so this simply means um, that is turn what that is turn Q PR so turn Q P R so we go at T uh, P so this is our so this simply means our opposite here is what is four so check this is where our opposite is then our adjacent so we can put a three here so this simply means adjacent is three centimeters now in order for us to find the hypotenuse here we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem which states that c squared should be equal to a squared plus b squared where c squared is a hypotenuse so c squared is equal to here i can pick a to be 4 then b to be 3 then c squared will be equal to 4 squared 16 3 squared is 9 then c will be equal to the square root of um, what is uh, 16 plus 9? 16 plus 9 is 25. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the square root of 25 and that will be the value of C. So the square root of 25 is 5. So that is it basically. So now that uh, even the hypotenuse has also been found, so now what we're going to do is we're going to write an expression for sine pqr so write an expression for sine because the question is telling us to find sine pqr so we've said uh, the square root of 25 is equal to 5 so 5 centimeters and the 5 centimeters is the one that comes there then how do you find now what they are asking us? Sine P Q R. Now remember, sine P Q R is equal to sine is given by opposite over hypotenuse. Which one is the opposite? So we we'll go where there is Q. Q is here because we're looking at the angle which is on the middle. So this is our Q. So which one is the opposite of Q? The opposite of Q is our 3. So the opposite of Q is 3 centimeters. Then the opposite of oh, the hypotenuse is 5. The one that we have found. 5 centimeters. So the centimeters and the centimeters are gone. So the final answer here is just 3 over 5. So 3 over 5 is the final answer that we get there. So, as simple as that, we proceed to look at another question. That's the question. The diagram below shows triangle ABC in which SC is 18 centimeters, 
CAB is 30, that is a 30 degrees, and ABC is 90 degrees. So this is the 90 degrees here. Calculate the length of BC. So we're looking for this then, basically, this one. Now, how can we find that length? How can we find that length? We have to be very careful in finding that length. So this is what we're going to do. We have an angle here, which is 30 degrees. So we can say this angle, the length we are looking for is the opposite of that angle. So an opposite is the one that is facing this angle. So we have an opposite. Then what else have we been given? We've been given the hypotenuse here. So now let's go back to Sokatoa. So Sokatoa. So you take where do we have opposite and hypotenuse? It is in the first one. So we're going to use sine. So I'm going to say sine. The angle is 30 degrees is equal to opposite of hypotenuse. So sine 30 degrees. Our opposite is what? We don't know. So our opposite is BC. We don't know the value of BC. Hypotenuse we've been given to be 18. So what do we do now? Uh, we want to simplify things now. So what is the value of sine 30? Now sine 30 is fixed. Sine 30 is equal to half. It's 0 0.5. So you should be able to find uh, simple calculations like sine 30, sine 90, such. So sine 30 is 0 0.5. So the value of sine 30 is 0 0.5. Remember, we are not allowed to use a calculator for these uh, paper 1 type of questions over 18 then this we can say over 1 and cross multiply then bc will be equal to uh, 0 0.5 is the same as half times 18 so we're looking for half of 18 so basically half of 18 is 9 so this would be 9 uh, centimeters so we are found the length as simple as that let us look at another question that can uh, cement our understanding we have that question given a right angle triangle x y z where angle z is 90 degrees and turn x is 4 over 3 find the value of cos x now, we don't have that triangle here so we can just imagine any right angle triangle so just come up with any right angle triangle suppose i have that so that is a right angle triangle that I have imagined. Then we are saying we call that triangle to be x, y, z. So if I say this is where my x is, I say that is where my y is, and that is where my z is. Then the angle at z is 90. So I was very careful to put z here because we are saying this angle is 90. Then tan x should be equal to uh, 4 over 3 All right that should be the value of tan x so what does that mean so we go back to Sokatoa so let's go back to Sokatoa so tan is opposite of adjacent so tan uh, x will be equal to opposite of adjacent so this simply means the opposite is 4, the adjacent is 3. So the opposite of x here, it means that is a 4, then there should be a 3 here because this is the one which is adjacent. There it's a hypotenuse. So how do we find the hypotenuse? Again, using the Pythagoras theorem, you can find the hypotenuse here to be 5. I'm sure you'll be able to... Now I'm able to know that there it's 5 because of what we call the Pythagorean triples. I'm able to know there it's 5, but you can also calculate uh, to check that it is 5. So by using this formula, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Where c squared is what we're looking for, here you can put 4 and here you can put 3. Or you can swap them, it's 5. So that is what it means. So we've been told to say tan x is that then they want us to find cos x so cos x decays so cos goes with the adjacent over hypotenuse 
So which one is adjacent and which one is a partner? So the adjacent here is a 3, the adjacent is a 3, then the hypotenuse is a 5. So cos x degrees is equal to 3 over 5. So you just leave it like that, 3 over 5. You don't have to write it as a decimal, you leave it as a fraction. So that's basically how you can handle questions on trigonometry. As you can see here, you have to be very careful. Yeah, so you should also know how to find the area of the triangle. That one will be very important. So just a hint because in the exercise, so we are done with this question, but I want to put a hint. Suppose you are given, uh, if you have a right angle triangle, if you have a right angle triangle, you know to say area of a right angle triangle is equal to half base times height. But what if you are given uh, a triangle which is not right angled? In triangle at all, how can you find its area? So you should also know how to find that. So basically, to find the area of a scalene triangle, we do this. So area is equal to half AB sine C. So where, for instance, I'll give you an example. If this is um, if this is A, this is B, if this is C, then meaning there should be an angle here that will be uh, corresponding to C. So there should be an angle theta there. So that's an example. So if you get an angle that is opposite to C, it means you don't have to get the side C. You get the side of A and B then at C you only get the angle. So this is a formula you can use to find the area of a scaling triangle. So I'm sure you'll be able to answer uh, the, the questions that might come. Right, so now let's look at some questions that you should try out. So try out, so this is the first question that you should uh, try out. Then uh, this is the second question that you should try out. So once you do these questions, then you are good to go with the topic trigonometry. You'll be able to answer most of the questions here. Alright.